Hey folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Got Steve on the camera once again, and today we've got E-Flight's uh, Twin Otter, man. Another twin engine airplane. I love twin engine models. This thing is really cool. It only runs on a three cell pack, so you can use your 2200s. You can use your uh, 3200s. And uh, I do have an unboxing of this thing. So, and I do have an assembly and kind of a setup. If you guys want to check those out, if you look in the upper right hand corner, uh, the information circle, the white eye, if you click on that now, you'll get the drop down with the other videos in this series. So, we're going to do it a little differently today, guys. We're just going to fire this up, uh, get it kind of pre flighted, and go fly it. We'll do most of the talking uh, either during the video and uh, and uh, as we're flying it and at the end. Let me go ahead and plug this in. Steve, if you want to get on the plane so everybody can see the AS3X flight controls power up, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. It's going to boot up. You'll see the flight control cycle twice. Once. Twice. So now they're all set and uh, the AS3X system is initialized and neutralized and kind of ready to go. Um, we don't, uh, um, it's not active yet. As you move the controls, it's not offering any correction at all until you come up to about a quarter throttle. I'll take my safety off. We'll add a little more to quarter. And you can see now, I don't know, Steve, if you can get on one of these ailerons, it's now correcting. Can you see that in there? The aileron's correcting in the direction, pitch and roll, they're all correcting. Um, I'm going to test out my safe select switch, my safe mode. I have mine here. I'm going to turn that on. Now when I displace my aileron, you can see right there it stays. You got that in there? And that's what you want to check is make sure that's working. We really don't need safe on this airplane, and we'll demonstrate it when we fly it, but it's good to check it and just kind of make sure it's working. Um, let's go on pre-flight and just make sure all the linkages are on here. Everything's moving correctly. Everything's moving freely. Um, rudder's working. Elevator. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're good. Gear's all on. And uh, I think we're good to go, Steve. Let me just run this up. Nice. I love twin engine airplanes. All right, here we go. Let's get it on out of here. Taxi it a little bit. See how it handles on the grass. Pretty decent. You got that on, excellent Steve, very good. And this is how it handles on grass. Uh, it seems to do fairly well. This is a nice day, isn't it, Steve? Oh yeah. For doing this, holy crap. Look at those propellers, man. I love the stripe propellers on this. Okay, here we go. I'll get some flaps in for takeoff. They're set. And let me get it on out there one more time. Line it up. Quick flight control check. Right, left, up, down, left, right. There we go. We're good. Take it off. I guess I don't need to yell at. I'm the only one here. <laughs> flaps are coming out. Very smooth takeoff. Very nice. I'm only at about half throttle here, folks. I haven't gone even past that. Let me get it a little bit. Let me get it trimmed up here. Um, for the uh, AS3X uh, stabilization system, they say that when you do trim it, you want to get it trimmed. And once you got it trimmed, leave it for about three seconds. So I'm not going to touch it here. I'm just going to let it fly for a bit. And I think that sort of re-neutralizes the controls. Uh, and let's see how this does. I'll bring it down this way. Let's go full throttle, Steve, coming by. Very nice, very nice and smooth. It's a whole lot better when there's not a lot of wind, Steve, for sure. Oh, yeah. My Lord, we've had so much wind, it's been ridiculous. Let's come by, let me drop all the flaps. That's full flaps coming. Bring it by slow. Not bad, not bad. Let me do a slow circle with it. And out front, sort of. See how it does with full flaps. Flying nice and slow. Yeah, not bad, not bad, man. Not bad at all. Comes by nice and smooth right by the camera. You get that? Yep. Awesome. It flies great slow. Look at that. That flaps in. Using a little rudder in the turn here. Get it around. Easy on. You can see those landing lights in there too. Mm -hmm. It's got landing lights, it's got uh, wingtip lights and flashers, and it's got one on the vertical as well. Right, let me get the flaps up. Let's come screaming on past, Steve. Here we go. Full power. That's full speed, folks. Wow, very nice. Let's go vertical, see what it does vertical. Not bad, not bad. This is going to be a fun plane, especially when we get it on the floats. 
which we'll probably do in about a week here, everybody. I like it. That's 100% on the ailerons, that great roll rate. Look at that, great roll rate. I've been flying it at 100% the whole time. I did set this up exactly the way the book said to set it up, and it seems to be well. We have a right cross one here. In fact, Steve, I'm gonna go by the windsock. You guys can kind of see the windsock. I'll circle around it here. You can see what the windsock is doing as I go around it. <laughs> so, it's, it's blowing a bit. It's from our right, so this is uh, dealing with a right crosswind here. See how it does inverted here. Oh, oh, oh. It wants to roll around on me a little bit. Doesn't like that so much. It's doing it. Plus I got a crosswind. Yeah, it'll fly inverted, but it's not not meant for that stuff. Let's roll it around. It does it okay though. Very cool. It's nice to have an easy twin engine airplane. This thing assembled really easy. It's only one main wing screw and four tail screws to put this together. Uh, you put your nose gear on with a set screw and you put your main gear on with like six screws and there's a single screw that actually takes the belly pan off and, uh, and that's it. It went together quick. Low impact airplane. It's very nice to have a nice little twin like this that you can fly around and have fun with it. And it's not too expensive either. It's a nice airplane. Wow, I like it. All right, let me get a, see if we can get a landing out of it, Steve. Let's bring it back over here. I got one setting of flaps in. We do have a crosswind here, so let's see how it does with that. Ooh, I don't want to, oh, I'm pitching a little too hard. All right, not bad, not bad. The taxi on back will take off again. All right, let's do a uh, let's do a full flat max performance takeoff right out front. See how we're doing with this. I'm using the 3200 three cell smart pack in this baby. All right, here we go. Can you see that? Look at those wingtip lights. Yep. You can see those. You can even see, can you zoom in on the flashers? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can really see the flashers and everything. There's one on the vertical at the top of the rudder. It's probably kind of hard to see that, but. Um, and then the landing lights as well. So, all right, full power. Here we go, Steve. Taking off. Full flaps. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I pulled back too late. Here, let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let me bring it back. Let me land it here. A little hard there. All right, let's go full flaps now. Here we go. Taking off. I don't know if you caught that one either, but... Yep, got them both. <laughs> All right, good, okay. Yeah, nice model. I, I, it's just a cool little twin here. I mean, it really is impressive. I, I like it. It's, uh, I'm dying to get it on the float plane. It does seem, though, I will say this, it does seem like a crosswind does affect it. In other words, like it wants to weather vane big time uh, into the wind. I mean, it landed in a crosswind, which is what I'm doing right now, but it seems like it's, uh, it's not happy with crosswinds. That's without any flaps at all. All right, let's take off. I tell you, what, let me bring it back here for one sec. Well, no, you know what I'm gonna do. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We'll do that at the end. Nice model. Really like it. I think you'll get a good flight time out of a 3200. Very nice slow roll. Tell you what, let me do some steep turns out front. I haven't done that yet. Bye. Awesome bird. Awesome bird. Get in some steep turns right out front. Yeah, nice, nice. Nice. I really like this thing. It's a very lightweight model. Like when you put it together and you kind of hold it in your hand, you, you get the, the feeling. You can tell it's, it's, a, it's a very light duty model, but it's built very well. It's built nicely. Very smooth in the steep turn. Holy smokes. Yeah, holding around. I'm making Steve dizzy. It definitely feels a bit more locked in being a twin, for sure. It's, it's got a good, uh, good feel to it. So here, let me bring it by fast this way. Nice. Yeah, I think we'll have this on the floats next weekend. It'll be cool. All the way down there. Pull it up. Let's roll it around. Bring it right back down. Nice model. You can even see those landing lights in this broad daylight. Here, let me bring it to you at your slow, Steve. 
See if you can see those landing lights. Get right on it tight if you can. Can you see those? Yep, they're right yeah. there. Yeah, they're really nice. You can really, really lock into those. I like this thing. Holy smokes. We've flown it quite a while, too. Maybe we ought to get it on the ground and see what... <laughs> here, let me do... Let me do this. Let me get a, let me do an inverted pass here. A little lower if I can. There we go. There we're talking. Now we're talking. Look at that. Excellent. Let's bring it back before we run out of power. Power. Bring it back one more time for a high speed pass. Peel away here. Nice. I like it. It's tricycle gear, twin engine airplane. Really easy to fly. Can't forget to put the landing gear down on it either. Let's see. Put it down. Outstanding. Holy smokes. Let me bring it on in. Let's talk about it a little bit. Let's see what we can uh, show you guys with it. This is impressive, folks. Check this out at Horizon Hobby. If you guys want one of these, please use our links below. Uh, if you guys get one through our links, get the flaps up. Uh, we do get a little commission for that. We do appreciate you guys supporting. That does support our channel the most. Uh, if you guys do that, um, but uh, awesome airplane, folks. A uh, couple things. Uh, let's go into a couple things. These uh, these these uh, struts literally pop out. That's how easy these things go on. You stick these in place. There's your wing strut. It slides in. This this snaps in. Otherwise, your wing comes complete. The uh, horns and everything, rods, horns, linkages are on there. I did put some of my own fuel tubing on there. Um, the wing actually went on aside from those struts which are non-structural with this one screw it's just one big screw the whole thing comes right off i mean it was so simple all your connections were made for your ailerons flaps lights and motors uh, all through there everything's just right in there so you just put it on with one screw um, the tail um, went on steve you can probably get in on that okay there's two screws here and two screws right here and what you did is you inserted the tail let me kill my uh <laughs> kill my power switch there. Uh, you slide your tail in sideways, you put these four screws in, you make your elevator connection, and then these glue in from the top side. I'll show you guys in the un that in the unbox video if you take a look at that video. You put them through the top, thin CA, uh, foam safe CA, but I, I actually used uh, foam tack to get those in. And uh, that was like it for your tail, and then uh, your landing gear, like I talked about in the flight, there's one screw here, this whole pad, this whole kind of hatch comes off, and then the landing gear is just wire landing gear in there. There's six screws in here that hold this in. If you look at the unboxing video, it will show you that. And then um, one thing I did on my own was right here on these two joints, Steve, you can get in on those. These seem to flop around. They're basically just like fairing strut covers to make it look good, so you're not looking at wire. But I put some, some foam tack or any contact cement on those and then clipped them on and then put a little glob over top. And that keeps them from moving around. I left a little bit of space between here so it can move. And it also doesn't hit the wheel. So you want to secure it with something. I used contact cement you know, or you know, foam tack or something. Just so you can remove it if you need to. It won't really, it, it's, it's tacky enough to stay on there. But if you need to get it off, you can. And then your nose gear, your nose wheel went right on. There was a single screw right here that secured that in place. And that was it for assembling it. There is also right here this little horn, this arm, this is for running the wire that's included for the floats that are included. And that runs along the float landing gear uh, down to the, to the floats to the water rudder because there's a water rudder back there. And then this hatch actually comes off and that's where the rear mount goes for your, for, your, uh, for your floats. Your front mount goes in through here for the floats through these two little holes. And uh, actually we'll look at the inside of this thing here in a second. And then the props just bolt on. You have a single screw. They're counter rotating. They did a beautiful job. They color coded. Um, the nuts and uh, the, the, the prop drives and the screws so you can't really mess it up but one does does thread um, the opposite direction which is pretty pretty darn slick and then there was a single screw right through here to put your spinners on and, and that was it so battery compartment is as such you can kind of see right down in there that's my 3200 30c pack uh, my smart battery let's pull that out I think we've uh, showed everything off here Steve we need to let's look at uh, let me get this out of here. This literally just fit right down in there. And um, we gotta talk about the CG just a little tiny bit. Here's the battery. And with this battery in here, all the way up front against this little hump there, 
uh, all the way up front, my CG actually came out to be, and this is the factory CG mark right there. I actually put that sticker on myself, but that mark right there represents 45 millimeters, like the book says, 45 aft from the leading edge. And I was balancing ahead of that, probably more like 40, maybe a little more farther ahead, and it was real stable like that. So I think that's a good CG. But a uh, couple things in the battery compartment. You can see right down in there, if you watch the unbox video, I talk about that. Can you get those okay? Those are your front mounts, which go in through the side for your, for your floats. Those are just two, two uh, gear straps is all they are. Uh, and then I went ahead, instead of Velcro, my standard operating procedure here is I put a piece of shelf liner down here with double-sided tape. Steve, can you get back there? The back one is back in there too. I put that there with some double-sided scotch tape. And the battery sits on that nicely. It sits down like this, front and back pads. The, the strap holds it down kind of right in the middle, and this is so grippy, it won't move anywhere and you don't need Velcro. Plus, it's sandwiched in here between this little hump here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It's sandwiched in there between that hump and, uh, and the back of this thing, so it's not gonna move anywhere. And that's the 3200 we were running. Uh, here, let's take a look, Steve. Let's look at what we got on the meter here. Pull this thing out of here. Man, this is a nice day to fly, isn't it? Holy crap, we've always had so much wind and everything, every other darn thing. Yeah, I got the, uh, 15, 35%, yeah. 35% left? Yep. Okay, sweet. Uh, so we could have flown quite a bit longer, and that's the 3200 uh, Smart 3-cell pack from uh, Horizon Hobby, so. Okay, guys, just a little bit of bonus footage. Well, not really bonus footage, it's, this is just like, hey, Rich forgot to demonstrate. <laughs> The safe select mode to y'all. So we still got 35% in the battery, which you'll see shortly once I taxi in after demoing this. But here we go, we'll just take off. Flaps coming up. Okay, I am in normal flight stabilization mode, AS3X, and it's holding my plane steady, it's correcting for wind, it's doing all this nice stuff, okay? But if I put the safe mode on, which I'll flip that switch up, now it's in safe mode. If I pitch the stick all the way back, or all the way forward, it limits what you can do with it. It limits your bank. Like I got the stick all the way to the right, fully all the way to the right. And you can see it will not let me crash the airplane, basically. If I get it, let's do this. I'm gonna take safe select off. I'm gonna bring it back here, bring it back to us. So the safe mode's off. We're driving it back. I'm gonna take it up high again. I'm going to put it in a weird attitude. In fact, I'm going to dive it. Here we go. Power's off. I'm going to hit the safe mode and look what it does. It levels the airplane. Let's try something a little more aggressive. I'm going to go up with it really, really high. Let's get it way, way up there. And let's say I'm flying around and, oh man, I got a bug in my eye. Power's coming off. It's in a dive. I'm going to hit safe select. Look what it does. It levels the airplane. I'll do that one more time. Let's demo it again. I'm going to try and do something kind of a little more kind of in a bank or a turn here. here it's coming down. I'll hit the switch. That's what it does. It levels the airplane. Let me try something with a bank. Let's get it in a crazy... Okay, so let's put it inverted. Let's hit the switch. See what it does. That's what it does. It levels the airplane. Okay, let's do it again. It's cool. I mean, safe select is cool. Like if you get a bug in your eye, you're not sure what the plane's doing, you can't see it anymore. You hit the switch and it rolls and levels the plane. And that's it. I'm hands off. And that's what Safe Select does. It's pretty nice. It limits your bank, limits your pitch. But that's it, folks. Really nice model all the way around. I got to say, uh, pretty darn awesome. Nice light package, assembled really well. And like I said, if you guys want to see some more detail on this thing, we do have the unbox video in the upper right hand corner. It shows assembly, setup, all that stuff. And then once we get it out to the float field, we're going we're gonna to give you guys a float demo of, uh, of this thing on the water. And we'll put that link also there as well. So, uh, what do you think, Steve? Nice Flies nicer with not so much wind. We came out here the other day, it was so windy, the thing was all over the place and, and it, 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 it handled it, but it was windy and uh, we had some audio issues. So we had to come out here on a nicer day, but beautiful twin engine model, folks, coming from E-Flight and Horizon Hobby. Again, check it out at our links below. Please like and subscribe, guys. Um, it really does help us out for you guys to, if you are interested in uh, seeing more videos coming from us, just like and subscribe, hit that notification bell in the lower right hand corner below the video and uh, that will notify you anytime we put out new videos on really sweet airplanes like this. I'll have this probably at and all in the fall uh, if it does happen hopefully. <laughs>
uh, Seth and E Week and uh, or Seth and uh, and Joe Nall and stuff because this this plane definitely is worthy. It's a really nice twin engine, and uh, stay tuned for that float demo. I'm dying to get it on the float. So anyway, folks, Steve, thanks for filming. We appreciate you guys uh, watching RC Informer, and as always, guys, we will see you next time. <laughs>